everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with the Difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for students. I have been getting a lot of messages about these basic terms in pharmacology. Nurse Miss Mary, what is pharmacokinetics? What is pharmacodynamics? What is drug dependence? What is drug abuse? So today, I decided to make a comprehensive video on the basic terms in pharmacology. But before we go into today's in, into details we're still going to be talking about the history a little history of pharmacology and what pharmacology is all about but before we go into details if you are new on our youtube channel kindly click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out let's go there Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about the basic terms in pharmacology. But before I go into details, what is pharmacology? Pharmacology is simply the study of medicine, the study of drugs. It is actually gotten from a Greek word, pharmacos and logos. Logos means study and pharmacos means medicine. Combined together, study of drugs. So you will all be agree with me that in the olden days, what our forefathers and our ancestors used were leaves, were majorly herbs that they got from plants to treat themselves. And I believe they all derived this leaf from triolog. Like they did it for this first patient, they did it for their relative, it worked. So they believe, oh, any disease that has, um, anybody that has malaria, these particular signs and symptoms, we should give this leaf. So it was actually from experience that they were able to derive the various herbs that are used for the treatment of their relatives and of their patients. But today, why we are here is to talk about the basic medical, the basic uh, pharmacological terms. So the first one I have on the board is pharmaco dynamics pharmacodynamics is a study of how drugs work how the how drugs work in our body how it affects our body how the drugs we take in act on our body is pharmacodynamics why pharmacokinetics studies the fate of drugs once ingested pharmacokinetics simply talking about how we react to the drugs what we do to the drugs we take in but pharmacodynamics is what the drug do to us, what the drug does to us. But pharmacokinetic is what we do to the drugs, what we do to the drugs. And pharmacokinetics, like I said, studies the fate of drugs once injected. It actually involves the absorption, the distribution, the metabolism, and the excretion of these drugs. These are the four steps in pharmacokinetic. The absorption. When you take these drugs into the body, it is being absorbed into the bloodstream. That's absorption. Then it is being distributed into the bloodstream. Then the other one, and it's being excreted. Metabolism before excretion. So this is what pharmacokinetics is all about. What we do to the drugs. Why pharmacodynamics in a layman's language is what the drug does to our body. Then the other term I have is drug abuse. Drug abuse is self-administration of drug beyond the normal prescribed limits. For example, they prescribe the 400 milligram of PCM or 800 milligram of PCM and you go about taking 1,200 or more than. So we can say that that is what drug abuse. Drug abuse is what self-administration of drug beyond the normal prescribed limits for those that are taking um drugs at home without the doctor's prescription we can also say that is drug abuse because you don't really know the action of drug you just start taking it without um, the physician's prescription or the nurse's uh, prescription so that is what drug abuse then that takes us to the fourth uh, term which is bioavailability from the word bio availability it simply means what is left what the body is going to use from what you ingested that particular fraction that is left for the body to use when you ingest it that is why we said bowel availability is the fraction of a drug that reaches systemic circulation after a particular route of administration now that fraction of the drug that reached the systemic circulation that that is being absorbed 
that is available for use that is available to carry out that therapeutic event is known as bowel availability are you seeing it availability that's what is remaining what is available after the administration the another thing we are going to be talking about is drug nomenclature in our biology that was where i learned first heard the word nomenclature whenever you hear the word nomenclature it simply means naming you are naming someone so drug nomenclature simply means naming of drugs it could be the generic name or the trade name you know generic name is the um, is actually derived from the constituents that makes up the drugs but the trade name is depending on the companies the brand name we know we have different brands different companies producing here yeah, um, for example different brands producing a uh, ciprofloxacin different brands brands producing safe triazo different brands you understand so that's different between your that's generally drug nomenclature is simply drug naming then another one is drug dependence let's forget about the definition on the board they, you are in the exam hall and they say what does it mean to uh what's the meaning of drug dependence are you not saying drug dependence it means somebody is depending on drugs are you getting that drug dependence somebody is depending on drugs to be happy to have pleasure to be comfortable do you get that so drug dependence is what the reliance on a specific drug or drugs it's not necessarily one drugs drug dependence is what reliance on a specific drug or drugs for pleasure it could be for comfort derived from using it such dependence can produce intense craving you see daily this person crave for this particular drugs without this particular drugs the person is unable to carry out its normal action of the day the person is not happy so this person decides oh i must take this particular drugs that's where drug abuse come into play I don't know if you get now. So drug dependence is what? Reliance on a specific drug or drugs for pleasure or comfort derived from using it. So such dependence can produce intense craving. You know when somebody is craving for something? I need it, I need it. Without this, I can't survive. So that is drug dependence. Then the other term is drug receptors. As the name implies, receptors. Drug receptors. For example, you take drugs. When it goes to the body, it has receptors that it has to act on for it to carry out its function. It's the receptors that receive these drugs. Oh, you are here. Oh, come. Let's um, make this person feel better again. I don't know if you get. That is why we say drug receptors are what? Macromolecules in cells or cell membrane with which drugs interact to exert its effect. They are what? There are macromolecules in the cells or cell membrane which drugs interact with to carry out its effect. So if there is no drug receptors, if there is no uh, cell membranes for these drugs we take to interact with, they will not be able to carry out its effect. So that is what drug receptors. Then another one is drug tolerance. When you meet somebody is tolerating something, what do you mean? I'm just tolerating her. I'm tolerating all her excesses. I'm tolerating all her bad behaviors. When we talk about drug tolerance, that's where, uh, for example, um, I used to take two milligram of a particular drugs. All of a sudden, two milligram is no longer working. I start taking four milligram. All of a sudden, four milli. You understand the tolerance? You are not taking higher dose to carry out that effect. The lower dose would have carried out before. Maybe before, whenever I take two milligram of a particular um, meant drugs. I feel better my pain goes but now you're not taking if you take two milligrams it's no longer working so you need like 10 milligrams to work so you're not using a higher dose to achieve that same effect that two milligrams would have achieved so that is what drug tolerance drug tolerance this describes the requirements of progressively larger dose to produce the original effect achieved at a lower dose level this what this describes the requirements of progressively larger dose to produce the original effect achieved at a lower dose level. So that is what the drug tolerance is all about. So today we shared eight basic terms in pharmacology. Tomorrow we'll be sharing another eight 
basic term in pharmacology. Don't forget to stay tuned. Don't forget to like. Please like. Don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section. Don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. And don't forget to also watch with a friend. For those that have not registered for our Telegram class, you have been missing a lot because on our Telegram class after registration you have access to all our voice notes like seriously you have access to what you have access to all our voice notes we have voice notes on the various system cardiovascular system respiratory system digestive system we also have voice notes of community health on research on management so when you register for our classes on telegram you'll be able to get our voice notes and also listen to them in preparation for your nursing and midwifery council exam once again thank you for staying tuned i really do appreciate don't forget to share with a friend see you in our next video bye